What's up guys, my name is Kira. I am a professional volleyball player in Europe. I've been doing it for the last 10 years and I'm making these videos for anyone who might be curious about what that life looks like. Last week, I left a little teaser on the end of my video and I showed you a little box and I said, guess what's in it? It's my YouTuber thing. It makes me a real YouTuber. If you see anything different about my video this week, I got a neon sign. <laughs> I watch a lot of YouTube videos about how to make YouTube videos. Everyone seems to say that the background is really important and the lighting is really important. Right now, I don't know if you can see, but I'm basically just, just my kitchen. I tried to put some plants up there, make it aesthetically pleasing, but now, now I've got a thing. So when you come back next time, you'll know it's my video. <laughs> I don't know, Daniel Schiffer has a banana. Imitation is the highest form of flattery, right? There is a background story as to why it's a cactus. When I was living in Italy, my sister came over and she gave me a little cactus and she wrote on it, hello, my name is Benjamin Cactus. Stroke me in case of kitten adopting emergency. Apparently I adopt cats wherever I go. Oops. So now I always have a cactus wherever I live. Hopefully a new light will make my videos more aesthetically pleasing. Enjoy. Let's get into the meat of today's video. It is my top five things that I think are super important when you're moving overseas, when you're living away from home as a professional volleyball player. Starting with number one, you guessed it, house plants. <laughs> Maybe it started with my obsession with cactus, cacti, cactuses, but now I make sure that I have house plants everywhere that I go because they just make you feel comfortable. They make me feel at home. They give some fresh vibes to the apartment. I'm kind of a minimalist, so I don't want a lot of stuff, but I do love the feeling of being surrounded by nature. And obviously you can't bring them on the plane from home, but there are local websites that you can get secondhand plants. They're not super expensive, but they do make me feel good. And I think that's important. When you want to perform your best, you got to feel good. Number two is a roller. If you are an athlete and you're training twice a day, you really have to get your muscles recovered somehow. And the best way that I found to do that is to roll. This season I've been having some tendonitis in my knees and so I roll all throughout my thigh and my calves and just loosen up the muscles so that they are not pulling as hard on the tendon at the knee. I use the Hyperice Viper. It's got three levels of vibration, so you can really attack your muscles. It is a little bit pricey, but I find it awesome. I use it three times a day. You don't need that. You can get away with just any old roller. Look for the most solid one that you can because that'll be the most aggressive on the muscles and really loosen them up. Number three is a good pillow. <laughs> I've literally had this pillow for over 10 years. I had it in the States and I brought it over and I've been carrying it from club to club for the last 10 years because it's so important to have a good pillow. And this one is memory foam. Don't, I have no idea what brand or what make or what model, not important. Having a comfortable pillow, getting good sleep. I spend a lot of time in bed when I'm not training. I'm usually sleeping, so a good pillow. Primo. Number four is a coffee machine. Get it for you. I'm not that fancy. I don't have an espresso. <laughs> I have Dolce Gusto because it's like 40 euros or something. It's not the most gourmet coffee I've ever had. It does the job. You have really weird hours as a volleyball player. You might have a really early training one day and a really late train the next day. So your body gets a little bit thrown off. So sometimes you'll be napping in the middle of the day and you wake up and you need that caffeine hit. That's where the coffee machine comes in. <laughs> Mm. Coffee's life. Number five, and maybe the most important to me right now at this time in my life, is an ice bag. You can even hear that there's ice and melted ice, which is just water, because I was wearing it just about five minutes ago. It is so simple, I know, but icing and recovering after training is so important to being ready for the next training the next day. As I mentioned, my knees are not ideal at the moment. After training, I'll put on the ice bag for 10 minutes, take it off, maybe put heat on it, take that off, put ice on it, and get the blood pumping for recovery of the muscles. It's something so simple, that you can carry it with you everywhere in your bag. Super simple, super light, super cheap, super necessary. If you wanna be a pro player, get yourself an ice bag. <laughs> So that's it guys, my top five things for being a professional volleyball player in Europe. We're moving around a lot, we're changing clubs a lot. You can't carry a lot of stuff with you. You become a minimalist by nature, but there are a few things that I always make sure at the beginning of the year that I have so that I can get into my routines. Rolling for recovery, icing for recovery, sleeping well, being awake when I need to be awake, and just in general, 
feeling at home so I can perform my best. I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Hit subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I'm making them every week for you guys so you can see what it's like to be a professional player in Europe. Leave me a comment if you have an idea for a video. And other than that, I will see you next time. Bye. I think I said everything. Notes. Because I can't, can't remember all this stuff. I really hope you're in I don't know what else I'm say about coffee. Hmm, what is it? I think that's all I'm gonna say today. Ugh.